Okay, one of the trickiest things about doing the dashboard swap is the electrics. Um, it's fairly simple, that doesn't mean it's easy, but don't be put off by what you see next, okay? <laughs> okay, what you've got there, when you take the old dashboard out, that's pretty much what you're going to be left with. It looks like R2D2 and C3PO have got into a bit of a fight. But to be fair, it's pretty pretty straightforward if you just make sure that you number and mark every single thing that you take off. As you're taking the old dashboard out, there'll be connectors, there'll be switches, wires, lights, all sorts of things. Just make sure everything's numbered. Because when you put it back, there's no complicated wiring to go back in. It just goes straight back in the way it came out. These are LEDs. We put LEDs in for better backlighting on the on the um, on the clocks. But apart from that, it more or less stays pretty much as it is. Things to look out for. You have three switches down here. Demist. Uh, fog could be interior light, depending on what you've got. And a hazard uh, that just needs snipping, and the wires need feeding across into the centre. We'll re rewire them onto new switches in the middle, so they need extending across and putting into new carling switches that we use. The carling switches are usually pretty nice, nice chunky switches. So those two need rewiring across. Um, the hazard, if you want, you can just leave that as it is because that's quite a complicated one to rewire. You need a, a few relays on that one. And I think it's better just to leave it as it is. Just cut a hole in the dash and leave the hazard switch in that position there somewhere so it's still running off the same switch it saves a lot of messing about that's quite complex to wire up that one um, it's up to you but we leave that as it is everything else is fairly straightforward in the middle you've got different wires for stereos you've got different wires for auxiliary power sockets but for the switches what you need really side light feed so when the side lights come on it lights up the switches you also need an ignition live feed so when you turn the ignition on your switches will all operate um, you'll need a constant ground which you can find and tap into you'll probably need a constant live you'll need a constant live certainly for the radio so it stores its memories and presets. Other than that, there's not a lot to it. It's just about being careful taking it all out and being careful putting it all back together again. Okay. Let's just have a quick look at the switches we're going to use. Um, we use Carlin switches. Pretty good switches. one heated seat which we're putting into this one uh, fog light and she's a two-speed fan which replaces the lever rear wash wipe rear demist another heated seat these have got loops across um, some of them require double earths so rather than running two earths just run one earth in and then spur it across just saves a bit of time Pretty basic stuff, but if you haven't done it before, it's a, it's a handy tip. That's your fan, which needs two powers in, so again, just spur it across. Connect one in. Uh, we're putting a USB charger into this one. We're going to tap into the cigarette lighter feed for that one. Uh, different surrounds. The clocks themselves use the same clocks. Clean them up. Uh, they go into our instrument binnacle here. Just drop those in. 
Um, we've got some nice uh, bevel bevel edges which we've put into Nara bronze like this one. So they'll go on the clocks. Uh, vents, speaker covers, uh, steering wheel. We sprayed that in Nara bronze as well. Uh, the gearbox shift us around. Some leather tops for the uh, detailing. What else we got? Oh, there's these uh, tweeter surrounds. I'm going to put some tweeters in, split the feed from the stereo, put some component speakers in with woofers and tweeters. That'll make it a much better sound. And all that works with the Nara Bronze 300, which is it's a nice truck. Automatic box, so that makes the clearance for the front of the dash easier. Looking a bit bare at the moment. The front flaps, you just basically put a piece of metal across and clamp those down. All the front framework that holds the flaps in place, that all comes off. Soundproof the bulkhead. And then we put a, a bulkhead flange on here with two outlet pipes and that feeds the, the left hand one feeds the passenger demister and passenger side window and the right hand side one does the two facial vents and the driver side demister. Looks a mess but that's probably about 70% there. I'm going to get the speakers wired up first, do all the switches, all the wiring, so it's all central. Once that's done, we'll put the dashboard in. Don't put the dashboard in before you've done all that. It'll be a nightmare to work on. You can't get to anything. That's about it. Looks easy. More to follow.